learned how to run a kitchen. His and Vargas's partnership flourished, and together they opened Ornell's Barbecue in Kittery, Maine, with restaurant tour Jay McSherry, Chef Will Miska. Are you feeling unstoppable? I'm feeling today? unstoppable. I'm feeling nervous and scared, but unstoppable at the <laughs> Dude, same you're, time. You're you gonna know what I'm saying? Crush so we're it, we're gonna do it. Yeah, pull absolutely. that mic just a little bit closer. A little to bit your closer. Face. Yeah, yes, don't be shy. Absolutely. There it is. Cover that. Cover let's, that big let's nose. Let's hear that that Texas that ca- draw. low draw. Yeah, you got to show that thing off. Right? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I can't wait to dive into your story. I'm really excited too because it's not every day i think this is just a matter of time the more i do the show i'm gonna get to, to interview somebody yes sir who came up under the mentorship of two past guests yep. chef evan hennessy and chef david vargas david right. was just recently and evan, evan i had evan on the show like four years ago no way but like the show has evolved so much since then i right. wanted to get him back on the show to spotlight his career For sure. and i know that you came up under two dudes who have so much great things to say about you I'm totally blessed so i know this is going to be a good interview man you're going to have some For great sure. no pressure no nah, it's all good man you know what i'm saying <laughs> but let's get that motivational inspirational yeah. ball rolling with the success quarter mantra what do you got okay well this one might sound a little wacky but um it's uh if you show me a show me a good loser i'll show you a loser Ooh, if you show me a good loser I'll show you a loser. And that goes back to my grandpa right there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I grew up from a very competitive family. Um, sports is my first passion. Um, you know, and, and Sam was Ornell's husband and, you know, spending the weekends over there and stuff like that. It was food, sports, and then all the card games in the world you could play. Nice. Uno, life, uh, poker, frackle, all these weird different games that we play. And uh, me, I have two older sisters. So we would love to uh, get Grandpa to lose. We love to make him lose. You know what I'm saying? He would sit there with the sour face on there and be like, "Why are you so mad, Grandpa?" And he'd say, "You've shown me a good loser. Well, I'll show you a loser." You know what I'm saying? And and to show me, that's me a good loser. I'll show you a loser. I don't know if I'm picking up what you're putting. I mean, I w- what I'm saying is that like you play to win. You okay. know what I mean? Like you know, you're like he's a sore ass loser. You okay. know, just just like I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know, you want you, you're playing the competition. So I grew up very competitive family. You know. Okay basketball my, my older sisters they block my shots and I get mad and whatever but like show me a good loser I'll show you a loser is more of like you play to win and in the middle of playing the game the competition that's where the fun is yeah. you know what I'm saying but you want to win yeah you want to win I love it you know what I mean and and that's that's what was big to and me it, I think that's a great sentiment too because like this industry is a competition yep um, there is, it's the game of business, yep, right? Absolutely. Um, and there are winners and there are losers, but sure. I feel like if you go into it looking to have fun and looking to even, you know, have fun with those who you're in the game with, right. You know, right. Then it's so much better. You right. Know? And, and it's not an attack on anybody else. Like I don't want to outperform these, this restaurant or that restaurant. It's more of like your own mental psyche right there. Like, yeah, I want to win personally in my mind in my goals that I want to achieve in life. And that's where that comes from. But you can still win and and be somebody who, who doesn't like crush everyone in your path. Right. And and like, even like in your, in your restaurant, you want to have a business where like, it's the great game of business where you're, you're making a game out of it and you're competing against the best yourself yesterday. Hey, hey, chef Zach, can you put up a better special than I can? Like let's compete. Competition like flows through my body from the way I was raised. You know what I mean? And it's not putting anybody down when you don't win or whatever, but like, there's a book out there. You play to win, man. Yeah. Like that that's what it is. It's you a know? Great Game of Business by Jack Stack. Okay. Know? And it's a great book that explains exactly what we're talking about. And, right. and you, it can be fun. It can be a game. And right. A, and um you gotta play to win. That's it. And, I, I, and the fun is in the competition. Yes. You know what I mean? But like I am a sore ass loser. <laughs> and you know what I mean? That's where it came from. We would, we'd always be like, Grandpa, why are you so mad right now? And that's when he would say that quote to us. You I know what I mean? And we'd be like all right, Grandpa, and that one stuck with me forever. Even when I, you know, gave a speech at his funeral, he passed away in 2016. Oh, bummer. That's one thing I said. You know, he lived a good life, though. You know, and that's one thing I said. And I had everybody cracked up laughing because they knew that's what Sam Mishka was about. You know Dude, what I mean? So like, I love it, man. So I carry that one with me right there. And then actually, one of my mentors, Chef Argus, loves that one. He Dude, talks about that one all the time as great well. Great way to get this thing started. You know, for sure.